I don't think we can protect two transports at a time. It's risky, but we can't hold out much longer. We have no choice. What's up guys, Podmaster here, back at it again with another Star Wars Funko Pop review, and today it is the Amazon exclusive Battle at Echo Base Princess Leia Funko Pop. Starting with the outside of the box, we of course have the Amazon exclusive sticker again at the bottom right, and then we have the 40th anniversary decal right there, Funko Deluxe. And then the top it reads Battle at Echo Base Princess Leia number 376 in the Star Wars line, which is one more than the Pro Droid Funko Pop, which we reviewed last week. I'll link to the video up there so you guys can check that out if you want to. It'll also be linked down in the description below. Like the last one, I really like the blue background with the white text. I think it looks great, and they of course added this uh snowy feel to it on the side here which i really like there's a bit of a dent in my box i don't know if you guys can really see it it's a if, if i have it at this angle you can see it it's a bit pushed in right on the side but over, overall it's not too damaged which i'm really happy about since it's a bit of a bigger pop and on the back here we can see again a large version of the 40th anniversary decal the princess leia pop in a bit of a bigger view than we saw in the front and of course, the five other Funko Pops in the Battle of Echo Baseline that have already been revealed at the time of this Pops release, which were Wampa, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Pro Droid, Princess Leia, and this last mystery one, which was later revealed to be a Darth Vader with Snowtrooper Funko Pop, which is really cool. And we will be reviewing that very, very soon. And then on the side here, obviously it's Princess Leia 376. So that's all for the outside of the box. Let's open this guy up and take a closer look. Out of all the Echo Base Funko Pops that have come out so far, this one has to be one of my favorites besides the Darth Vader one, which, we're going to, which we are going to be viewing again very, very soon. And I'm not sure what it is, but whenever I watch Empire Strikes Back, I'm always fascinated with these little screens here, like the ones that you see in Echo Base. I don't know what they are, and I think it's something about that mystery that has always really intrigued me. Like, I remember in the LEGO Star Wars game, there was a way you get a mini kit if you, like, did use the force on some of these in the Echo Base level, which I thought that was really cool. So, I don't know, I've always loved these screens, and it's so cool that Funko is somehow able to get this into an actual pop. I think that's great. They actually already made a Leia pop before. I believe it was Star Wars Celebration 2017, but rest assured, this one is a bit of a updated mold. You can see here, this is the actual sculpt here. The hair is done a lot better than the original 2017 version. Of course, it's the same sort of hot outfit with the boots and then the, you know, the jacket here, so that's pretty cool. And then it's this one is her actively working at the computer. Again, I don't even know what this is. It's like a computer monitor. I'm assuming it monitors something. I don't quite know, but I really like the paint job that they did here with the buttons. It looks very nice, very professional. And I'm assuming what she's looking at here is a keyboard, like the Star Wars version of keyboard, whatever in the world you would call that. And here is a look at the buttons on the other side. And then I want to show you guys, this is what the actual screen looks like. If you're looking at it head on, it has kind of all these circles going on right here. Kind of reminds me of like a math craft almost, if you guys know what I'm saying. And then here's the front again. This is, or I don't even know what the front would be. It's kind of like somewhere, but only, only complaint here is I wish the actual outfit colors were a little bit brighter. I remember her outfit being more of a whitish color in the actual movie, but this is more of like a cream vanilla, like the kind of yellowish paper that you guys see. It's almost like that kind of tone on her pants and her shirt. And then this vest here is more of like a, I don't even know. Like I would almost say like vanilla meringue color because I can't think of any other color that this actual sweater is. But I think they did a great job with the boots. The boots are roughly the same color, but they somehow messed up the coloring of her outfit a little bit, which is really annoying. And I seem to remember her head being a little bit larger. Like this head, this pop head seems to be a little bit small compared to a standard figure. Maybe it's just me or maybe it's just because it's a deluxe figure. I'm not quite sure on that, but something about it looks just a little bit off. But overall, I really like this figure. They did a great job with the computer computer screen and the keyboard nice job on the paint applications again with this whole line i wish that these bases connected just like the amazon avengers funko pop series did but unfortunately they just don't i think that's a huge missed opportunity and i really hope that the star wars bounty hunter line can do this justice and actually connect the bases because although this base looks great with the white snow here and then the blue turquoise accents dotting the side I, i'm just super bummed it doesn't connect like i actually have the, the probe droid one that we reviewed last week right here and it, as you guys can see i'm just kind of mushing them around here they're they don't really connect at all they're just all their own things which kind of sucks in a way but i don't know just i guess it is what it is and yeah so if you guys are interested in some more Star Wars Echo Base review content. I'll link a video to my Pro Droid review right up here so you guys can take a look at that. Look at that and I'll also have the playlist of all the other reviews linked down in the description below. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.